Good afternoon everybody, welcome to another sketch by the short cook. I'm still wearing the shorts, hence the short cook, and still just under six foot. Dedications today to Clive for all the fantastic camera work and no birthdays, but over the past couple of days, two wedding anniversaries. First of all, Clive's larger brother, uh, Liam, and his beautiful bride, Gillian. Uh, that was the uh, 4th of May, May the 4th be with you. And yesterday was Alex and Baza Welsh. So congratulations on Alex not killing Barry in the last 12 months. Shall we sing happy anniversary to you? Yeah, all right, I think we should. All right, so. Happy anniversary to you, happy anniversary to you, happy anniversary dear, all of you. Happy anniversary to you, happy anniversary to you, happy anniversary to you, happy anniversary dear Liam and Gillian and Alex and Barry. Happy birthday, anniversary even, to you. Right, that was alright. Managed to wash the... Uh, can open it at the same time, good stuff. All right, so, uh, what are we doing today? We are doing gumbo-ish. Uh, Creole, deep south type of stew. Um, normally has ham and chicken in it. We're just gonna go with chicken today because we haven't got any ham. Uh, or we have, but we haven't cooked it yet, so it's gotta be cooked. Right, ingredients wise, this uh, pan here has already cooked the chicken. We need to get something into there immediately because it's starting to get hot. What we've got here, Clive, is uh, fresh chilli, some onions, some courgette and some carrots. They're quite hard, so we'll put those in and let them cook off quickly, first of all. What we're going to do with this is we are going to put it into the oven. Apparently, gumbo you would normally do on the stove top, but... Uh, because we don't like to follow convention, we're going in the oven with it. Right, other ingredients, Clive. That one there, that funny looking thing, that is uh, fennel. That's got kind of an aniseed taste, goes great with chicken. Red pepper, green pepper, some mushrooms that we had left over, a little lime juice there. Uh, these two articles here, spinach and parsley are gonna be used to finish the dish. Parsley will be going in just before we serve it. Parsley, no, spinach will be going in just before we serve it. The parsley will be going on the top. Uh, Cajun spice, we haven't got any. So uh, I've read what's in here and there's kind of all the sort of things that might be in Cajun spice. Cayenne pepper, cumin, uh, garlic, uh, nutmeg, coriander, all sorts of stuff. And that one, um, France and uh, Cajun and Creole and all that sort of thing. Well, Morocco's pretty close to France, so it's gotta be something in there. Use what you can, use what you've got. Um, garlic, one clove, uh, some butter to richen it up. Can of chopped tomatoes, that's just our olive oil, uh, not olive oil, rapeseed oil, uh, chicken stock, and of course, uh, if we're doing something mildly Frenchish or otherwise, we need to have some Dijon as well. Um, let's get the rest of this lot in. So, in with those. There we are. That's all that lot in. Stir around with that as well. Now we, uh, when we made the beef burgundy on the other day, we didn't have room in the Le Creuset uh, pot. So we decided to make it in here and we thought we were making an absolute mountain. But um, over the time that it spent in the oven, everything shrank. And the burgundy lasted one meal. And then I made it into some gravy, which was absolutely excellent. Spices. Here's that uh, all spice. Spicy season on, yep, very good, get rid of that. And here's the Moroccan. Yep, I'm liking the look of that, that's great. We'll have a taste of this in a bit and see how it, uh, see how it pans out. We can always add more, but obviously we can't take it out. That's smelling pretty good there, Clive, yeah? Very uh, cajun would you say? Oh, yeah. Right, let's go with a little bit of salt and pepper as well. And as you know, we like pepper, so we're going to put a good few grinds into that. Now well, that's cooking away nicely. Doubly stuff. I'll put some more in later on. 
So, what else are we going to go? Uh, let's go with the garlic. Garlic in. Make sure all that garlic is out. Fantastic. Uh, let's have a look. What else should we go with? Let's go with uh, Dijon mustard. That's in as well. To get the uh, tomato puree, that's We'll go with some tomato puree as well. We need to add that to the ingredients. We'll edit that in at the start, yeah? That's not a problem. Good stuff. Yeah. That's all that lot in there. Get rid of that. Stir that all around. We want the tomato puree to cook off. Ideally for a couple of minutes. It's smelling rather jolly. And the pan's getting jolly hot as well. Smashing. Uh, can of tomatoes in. Squeeze of lime juice in. Big squeeze. Chicken stock in. I'm just going to supplement that with just a little touch more water. You can always thicken it up later. With some corn flour, perhaps, or some uh, granules. Stir that through. We're just going to add a little bit of French richness with some butter in there as well. Stir that all through, that's looking good. Smelling lovely, let me tell you. We will drop our chicken in there now, I believe. So that's part cooked chicken. All we've done is we've browned it off. And it will cook the rest of the time in the juices. And what we're going to do with this, once we've given it another stir in a minute, is we are going to put it into the oven on, I think it's about, gas mark one or two, about 130 degrees centigrade and we're going to leave that in there for four or five hours just to cook down as i say gumbo you'd normally do it on the top it would be a stew that you do on the top here but uh we're not going with convention we are uh mavericks leaders not followers so that lovely looking thing there is now going to go into the oven for four or five hours and then what we'll do is we will be back and we will finish it off with the spinach and serve it up i think we're doing it with some just to confuse the rest of the you know just to mix some more uh, cultures into there jersey royals and some greens now greens deep south very deep south jersey royals i suppose it's near france let's tie that in there i don't know anyway We'll see you in four or five hours. And we're back. Are you ready, Clive? Ready for the big re reveal? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Mm. What do you think of that? Does that look good or what? Looks good. That looks good. <coughs> ah. And Chef Whitey thinks that looks good as well. Or is it the big fat pigeon in the garden? Yeah, it's the big fat pigeon. Uh, right, so what we did was we put the spinach in there that you remember seeing on the side earlier about 10 minutes ago. And we've cooked up some steamed cabbage in there. That's a bit of steamed cabbage. We'll just mix that butter in. And underneath there, we've got some glorious um, Jersey Royal potatoes. We'll just leave that alone for a minute. So, are we ready? Let's serve up a bowl. Once everything should be served in. Bowl of gumbo. You can see that nice portion of chicken that we've got there. Maybe a bit, of, a bit more gravy on there. There we are. And some cabbage, greens. It's quite a light cabbage, that one. I think it was a savoy, but we obviously haven't used the outside uh, leaves. I'll just pop that down there for a second. Move that off. Get another spoon. And a few Jersey Royals, mix them around. Looking good. Hard to get all of the old Jersey Royals this year. 
don't know why, because I'm imagining that they'd pick them with a machine, so there's no excuses to not having anyone to pick them really. Right. Um, it also says, or I always so says, serve with a great big bit of parsley, just like that. And also it might work to have a little squeeze of lime on the side there as well. A little squeeze of lime there. Um, oh, and of course, cabbage loves pepper, New Jersey rolls love pepper, and gumbo loves pepper. I need to do a little bit of a white clive. A little wipe round, and then we're nearly ready for the money shot. Right. Slightly better than the effort that we put up last night. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you gumbo ish. So that's a shot out from the short cook. Uh, please subscribe, stay safe, and we'll see you again soon.